Well, in simplistic terms, it doesn't happen frequently just because there is so much space out there. Obviously, there are tens of thousands of objects that could cause spacecraft harm. Most of the, the, the damaging, potentially damaging objects that, that attract um, are within a few hundred kilometers of the Earth because their parts have spent rockets and broken up bits of other catastrophically failed satellites and so on. Once we get out to the geostationary orbit where we hope to reside for the next 15 plus years, uh, that's a calmer environment. It has fewer bits of detritus to worry about, but it is something that's still tracked and our flight dynamics team um, here in-house uh, coordinate with other flight dynamics teams from other spacecraft operators if ever there's an, a, a spacecraft that's lost control and is drifting through our orbit location we can take evasive action if required and the spacecraft are quite surprisingly resilient to small issues I mean they're, if you really look at them on a design level they're almost two spacecraft in one box you have so many spares and so much uh, redundancy in the equipment that you can cope with minor failures in certain components uh, we like to think we, we take good care of the satellites, but uh, there is always an element of risk. It's the, the space business has always had that.